Welcome to the Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary Video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for February 25th, 2018. Market breadth. With this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 0.81 rose from 0.77 last week, advancing but still within bearish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns decreased 2% to 2,617. The count of bearish stocks decreased 4%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 1%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now four weeks in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Open Office Calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To receive the weekly Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary via email free of charge, simply enter your name and your email address in the spaces provided and click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 54 points for the eighth advance in 19 weeks. At a negative 83.55 points, it continues below all eight tops in the last 30 months, has risen above the April 2017 bottom, and continues above all five remaining bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis In this week's Volume Analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume lower than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had one accumulation day and one distribution day. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week also, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily is now in a Woody's downtrend, but now has five days above zero for a possible change in trend back to up Monday 226. At a positive 44.46, up from a positive 10.75 last week, it continues within the plus or minus 50 range for a zero line reject entry signal with either short or long possible Monday. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 95 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's downtrend two weeks ago. At Friday 216 close, the CCI 20 weekly presented a zero line reject long entry signal for Monday 219 open. This week, the CCI 20 weekly rose to 106.21 from 72.83 last week. We will continue following this trade simulation in next week's commentary. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are also positive. Summary, S&P Retail and some tech on top, REITs, gold and silver, and some tech on the bottom. Bullish, comp tech and semis continue in the top five. Disk drives 
and S&P Retail have entered the top five. Gold and silver continues in the bottom five. Bearish, REITs has left the top five. REITs and networkers have entered the bottom five. Oil services and oil have left the bottom five. Brokers, networkers, and KBW Bank have left the top five. Focus this week from www.davidstockmanscontracorner.com. The Albatross of Debt, The Stock Market's $67 Trillion Nightmare, Part 1. The following are some key points. It just so happens that the U.S. Treasury this very week will be selling $258 billion of government debt. That's right. Uncle Sam's scheduled debt emission this week will nearly equal his cumulative borrowing during the nation's first 188 years and its first 37 presidents. Our purpose in this two-part series is to explain how it came to be not priced in and why that anomalous state of affairs is coming hard upon its sell-by date. The massive growth of central bank credit unleashed by the Camp David folly of 1971 has finally reached its limit, even by the lights of our overtly Keynesian central bankers. So they are now embarking upon an epochal balance sheet reversal that will drastically alter the fundamental dynamics of the financial system and expose the vast falsifications of financial asset values that are currently, quote, priced in, end quote, to today's Wall Street house of cards. The 82X explosion of central bank credit gave rise to the freakish chart below. Do we think that $4.2 trillion of extra central bank credit has changed everything? Yes, we do, as we will amplify in part two. Thank you for watching this week's Sand to Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl www.s2pmarketsignal.com Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.